Hello, I am Dr. Srinivas Murthy TM, uh, ENT surgeon practicing in Ashwanpur and I specialize in a field called Sile Endoscopy, that is endoscopy of the salivary glands. These salivary gland stones, the chemical nature of this uh, is not very clear uh, and uh, it has uh, no relevance to the kind of food that we eat vis-a-vis -vis what happens with um, kidney stones. Now kidney stones are uh, known to occur because of certain kind of uh, dietary habits, uh, those kind of uh, things. Uh, whereas uh, salivary gland stones, uh, we do not know exactly um, why they form. The proposed hypothesis is probably because of um, uh, repeated infections causing uh, minor blockages in the small ductules uh, by mucus plugs and then there is an idus uh, or a focus on which uh, the chemicals get deposited and slowly they start uh, becoming more concrete and then a stone gets formed or there is an infection uh, or there is a congenital narrowing of the ductal system which is called a stenosis and then it tends to uh, stagnate there and then a stone gets formed um, just behind that. Other than this, we do not know exactly why uh, stones form, but stones form a major cause for uh, obstruction of salivary gland um, uh, and then cause what is called as um, outflow obstruction and then repeated infections. Now, these um, obstructions can also cause uh, be caused because of other conditions like as I mentioned uh, a stenosis or a narrowing of the ductal system uh, or a stricture that means uh, a length of the duct will become very very narrow uh, either secondary to an infection or trauma which can be uh, trauma even resulting after a surgical procedure. Now uh, these are the causes for um, uh, blockage of the salivary duct.